creating a new atmosphere for my iPhone home screen has been one of my favorite pastimes. It's something that I like to do to switch things up and to bring a little bit more joy to my phone. We use our cell phones every day, so let's make it aesthetically pleasing and something that we just absolutely enjoy picking up. Plus, with a little bit of organization, it can be something that is a lot more productive for us as well. Hey, hi, hello, my name is Myra, and I am your favorite productivity loving Slytherin. And let's go ahead and get started with editing our home screen for our iPhones. So right now, I actually have more of a brown kind of theme going on. I am in my browns era, as you can see from the case. I absolutely love it. Um, the brown and greens right now is just speaking to me but lately I've been wanting something with a little bit more pop of color we're getting into spring we're getting into April showers kind of season so I wanted to change it up and thought why not do it together I typically get my widgets and things from Etsy um, I think it's a cool thing to kind of support people who create digitals and small businesses because that's what I do as well however if you're looking for a free option you can definitely find app covers and widgets and backgrounds on Pinterest that's my favorite go-to for things like this so like I said I immediately hopped over to Etsy and tried to see something that will not only still fit the brown thing because I am still feeling it but also add a little bit of color and I stumbled across this set called bookish which feels about right for me um, it's given that blue April shower with a little bit of the browns in it as well like I really feel like I'm gonna pair my brown case and some brown widgets that I already have with this theme so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one and also the beauty with getting some of these things off of Etsy you're not only helping a small business but it's really cheap you start to build up your collection of different widgets and apps and things like that for less than three bucks like you really can't beat it a lot of times there are sales over on Etsy and for me it's just worth it than to have to scour Pinterest but again Pinterest is there there are a lot of cute and fun things over there um, you just have to kind of take the time to dig for it and me personally most of the time I don't have the time to so now that we have our photos for our background widgets and app covers let's go ahead and get started in customizing all of our apps Apple does make it pretty easy to change out our apps the only downfall is one it can be a little bit tedious but we'll walk through it together and then two when you want to change things up you do actually have to go through this process all over again it would be nice if we can just change out the photos for our existing ones that we already have you would think it would be just as simple but unfortunately at this point in time hopefully apple does fix this in the future but at this point in time we do have to create all new apps which can truly take time so once you either gather your images from pinterest or get your set from etsy go ahead and save that either on your iCloud or on your phone I personally like to put it on my iCloud just to save a little bit of space in my phone storage but it's completely up to you we just want to make sure that it's in a place where we can grab it once we start to get down and edit our widgets and our app covers next what I like to do is actually get a layout for my phone sometimes if I just give myself that free open space things get cluttered I get overwhelmed I don't really have a guide frame I don't finish it which actually happened with the last thing so I like to hop over to Pinterest and look up different ways that people organize their home screens and different setups to kind of apply for myself. So let's go ahead and hop over on Pinterest and see what we can find. I do have this one saved already. I really love how the setup is here. Um, we have a few apps here and there. We have photos with Widget Smith. Um, we also have really big long widgets, the little square ones. I, I really like this setup, but let's see if we can find something a little bit different. So I just go ahead and search in iPhone wallpaper and usually we can get a kind of an idea of different setups and things that we can do with our own home screen. Let's go in a little bit further and put in layout and see if we can actually get more. So yeah, we got a little bit more. Let's check out this one. Um, I don't really like all of the big widgets in this one, so we might pass on that but that may be something that you really like like just really play around with the things that you find on Pinterest and different ideas that people present but I think I am going to ultimately just use this one is really good if you're thinking like oh man I really love this theme but I also really love this theme as well you can actually organize and change up different themes using the focus feature where you can set up a whole new layout for when you are at work or when you are studying things of that nature so don't feel like you have to limit yourself to just one so let me know if you want to learn more about the focus feature and changing up your different wallpapers notification themes 
all that good jazz, drop a comment down below and maybe we can do something like that in the future. Real quick, I just want to tell you all the apps that I use for different widgets that I think you should absolutely download. First is Widgetsmith. Widgetsmith, you can truly do any and everything with. You can create different calendars, you can do quote pictures, regular pictures, um, different sizes, whatever you can imagine with different widgets you can definitely do with widget smith there is a free and also a paid version i do have the paid version it's a one-time fee i believe so completely worth it especially for somebody like me who always loves to change up things if you are trying to set up anything on your phone aesthetically you definitely need widget smith another app that i really love because i am really into music absolutely love like different vinyls and stuff the app is md vinyls this app allows you to kind of have that vintage vinyl kind of playing on your home screen i also do have this on my ipad as well i did do a setup on my ipad too so if you want to check out how um, to set up your ipad and make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing i'll leave a link to that video um, in the description as well and also of course notion i love the widgets on notion and adding my own notion page to my home screen but of course that has to do if if you actually use notion if you don't and you are interested and want to try out this awesome productivity tool, I have a whole playlist of all things Notion that you can check out and learn a little bit more about that. But those are the three main apps that I typically use when setting up. So let's go ahead and change our wallpaper. I think this is the easiest thing that you can possibly do to add a little bit of flavor and flair to your iPhone. I'm actually going to go with this cloud image that I actually found on Pinterest so it's not within the bookish pack. So this will be our lock screen. I'm going to add a little bit of customization okay and for our like layout template that we're going to be using we are actually going to be using 24 apps and I just so happen to have 24 apps already on my phone but I think at this point you may want to jot down the apps that you use frequently the apps that you want to see on your home screen but let's go ahead and walk through editing your app covers so first up you're going to want to get the app shortcuts it should already be on your iPhone it comes automatically with it and in the top right hand corner you're going to see a plus sign let's go ahead and tap on that and for the shortcut you're going to want to actually open up an app so down below they do have suggestions but if you don't see open app just hit add action and open app should pop up there so from the screen you see open app app is a little bit highlighted with blue you want to tap on that app area and actually choose the app that you want to open so since we're in the a's let's go ahead and choose amazon Next up, you want to go back to that drop down list and choose add to home screen and at this point you can go ahead and change what it actually looks on the home screen on the bottom right under home screen name and icon we want to click on this pink icon or whatever color it is for you right next to the name Amazon and you can choose a photo take a photo or pull it from your files so here I'm going to go with this color number three so we're going to open up that folder and typically with these icon kind of folders they name them by the actual app name there's different numbers so what I typically like to do is see if they actually have my app and I type in Amazon which they should have and they do and there we have the Amazon icon really pretty in the color from the pack let's go ahead and hit add and it should hop right back to our home screen and from here I typically like to make sure that I delete the older icon here and that way we don't end up with so many duplicates so if this is your first time doing this you won't have to delete the older app but if you have older ones like I do you want to make sure each time you add a new app you go in and delete the old bookmark because it will cause some confusions and then you have all this cluttered mess as well so I'm going to go ahead and proceed to do all the rest of my other apps here and then we're going to go ahead and get into the widgets all right I have all of my apps updated now and they look absolutely gorgeous so let's check out this MD vinyl one honestly what I have right now with this white background is really doing it for me but we can really go in and actually edit it as well so let's go ahead and edit the widget I do like the long style of this so we're going to keep it there and just kind of play around with the themes let's look at the blur one I'm not mad at that I think I'm going to stick with white on this one but yeah play around with it they do come in the smaller size as well as an even larger size so let's work on our notion widget so right now I do have just this basic long notion one that shows my favorite ones 
but I do think I want to have these little smaller ones like we seen in the layout that I picked out. So we're gonna hold down on the home screen until you see things that are like wiggling. We're going to hit the plus sign in the top left hand corner and let's just search up Notion. Let's just go ahead and do the smaller one here and I'm gonna pick like for my content plan. Tap and hold to set up. I'm gonna choose my page and I'm actually gonna do my content planning hub one. And there it is, I think it fits perfectly. So I went ahead and add my beauty tracker one. I think the background and everything fits perfectly with the overall bookish theme. So there you have it. That's how you add the Notion widgets. And last but not least, let's go ahead and look over Widgetsmith. So with Widgetsmith, which is really, really nice, you do have the option to actually change out the photos, unlike with the Apple app. So hopefully that is coming soon. But we can just go ahead and change out this Widget Smith photo by just tapping on it. Now, if you want to keep this photo, you can and just create a new small one. As you can see, I have like small one, small two, small three. You can change the name of it, but it really isn't that big of a deal for me because personally, I just typically swap out the photo for the same one. So let's go ahead and click on the actual photo and then we're going to click on photo. And then from here, you can click from your photo library or from files and go ahead and add the uh, photo that you want to use. So I chose the one with the stack of books and coffee on it. We're going to go ahead and hit save. And if we go back to our home screen, it's automatically updated. So love that it just flows seemingly with the background. And I love that with Widget Smith, if you have one that you just want to change the photo to, you can, or if you want to like, say maybe you want to go back to that fall photo again, you can actually create a new one. So let's go ahead and add some more things from Widget Smith. This time I'm going to do a medium sized one because I do want this long photo with a girl who's sitting and reading her book. So let's go ahead and add that. Right now it is just a calendar because the only medium sized thing that I have on my Widget Smith is a calendar. So let's go ahead and tap on that so we can actually add in a new image. So within the Widget Smith app, you wanna scroll down till you get to your medium widget. See, as you can see, I just have one. So that's why I automatically populate to the calendar. I'm gonna hit add medium widget and we're gonna create a photo choose it from files and hit save. So we're gonna press again and hold until everything jiggles and then we should be able to edit the medium widget by just tapping on the widget. And where it says medium number one, we just want to click on medium number two and there we can swap it out to the girl reading her book. They're really simple. A lot of your apps may have widgets. So if you have a favorite app and you wanna check out their widgets, again, just press down on the screen and just scroll through the apps that you have downloaded on your phone. You can search them and just play around with different things. I'm gonna finish adding on all my widgets, get things organized, and we'll check out the final look. All right, guys, so it is a new day, but we have our icons and everything set up and ready here is the final look let me know what y'all think and if y'all took some inspiration and created some new and fresh looks on your phone for yourself i would really love to know and of course if you guys would love to learn more about productivity definitely make sure you check out these videos here